What is up guys, my name is Berate, and today we're gonna be talking about the most common issue that I've been seeing recently in VODs that are below diamond. Now, a lot of times when people come to me for coaching, oftentimes what they're looking for is some magic pill to instantly make them better. Whether it be a certain strategy, a certain play style, a certain angle to hold on a map, etc., etc. And oftentimes there are no one size fits all issues, but there has been a common theme recently with people that I've been coaching, and that is the lack of what people in the aiming community call target confirmation. Now, all target confirmation is, fundamentally, is making sure that your crosshair is on the target's head before you click. You're confirming target confirmation. You're confirming that the crosshair is on their head or somewhere on them or on the desired spot before you actually fire a shot. And oftentimes, and this is a human psychology thing, but oftentimes what happens is when you get into a gunfight, you see an enemy on your screen and your first instinct is to click and not aim. And uh, this is a very, very glaring issue that I've been noticing a lot in VODs recently. So I'm going to dedicate this video to uh, fixing this exact issue. One, so that anyone who's come across this video who has the same problem can fix it. But two, so that I can send this video to my students when they have this issue because this is becoming a problem and I've explained this like roughly 16 times now in my past VOD reviews. So let's get into it. Let's talk about how to take your time in your gunfights and how to practice target confirmation. This is a clip from an upcoming collab that I'm doing with another YouTuber, but I think I explain how to take your time in gunfights and how to practice target confirmation very well here. So I'm just going to show this clip instead of actually sitting down and explaining it myself. I'm going to let past me do it for me. Uh, roll the clip. And this is only when you're in your deathmatch, but um, go to settings, go to controls. Then go to your keybind to pull out your knife. Whatever you have your knife, whatever you have your knife key bound to. Yeah. to pull it, yep. And then set a secondary bind to W. This is going to force you to AD strafe in all of your fights because another thing I was noticing is in your fights and when you're peaking angles, you were uh, pressing W quite a bit. This will curb that habit really fast. And the second thing is while you're in the deathmatch, you're going to let the other guy shoot first. So no matter what okay. fight you're in, you're going to let the other guy shoot first. And as they're shooting at you, you're going to be moving and you're going to be aiming towards their head at the same time. Then once they fire their first bullet, it's free game. Shoot them as much as you want. And if they one tap you, they one tap you. It's fine. Go next. And the second part of this is if you go up against someone who isn't looking at you or fighting someone else, you get one bullet to bop them in the head. And if you miss your one bullet, you knife out and you let them kill you. This is just basically just forcing you to take your gunfights slowly, but this will also subconsciously uh, drill into your head how much time you actually have to take your gunfights. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to grab a sheriff and you're going to set the bots to easy. And the thing here... If I keep the... No, don't keep the W, but you don't need the W by there. Okay, okay, so basically you're going to set the bots to easy and you're going to click start. And the caveat here is you're not allowed to miss a shot. If you miss if you miss one single bullet, then you click restart and you go again. Okay. And it's easy, so you have to take your time. And you're standing still. You're standing still with this. Mm -hmm. Yep. And what this is going to do is this is going to work on specifically target confirmation. Remember, Go, focus on, imagine you're drawing a straight line from your crosshair to their head and make that line as straight as you can without over flicking or under flicking. But yeah, you obviously don't have to do the full thing right now. Um, and then, yeah, yeah. and then once you can consistently get 30 out of 30 on the easy bots, then you're going to swap to medium bots and then you're going to swap to hard bots. What this is going to do is this is going to um, build up speed over time, but right now speed isn't the goal. Speed comes with consistent practice okay. and you can ramp yourself up slowly and slowly. So if you do, if you throw these two drills in along with like whatever you normally do for warmups and aim training, you sh this should make, uh, the transition into calm, smooth, calculated aiming a lot smoother. Thank you past berate for that lovely explanation. Now, this is not a one size fits all issue. Every player has their own issue, but if you are noticing 
that you cannot seem to get a kill in your games, or you are struggling specifically on your gunfights, if you're below diamond, or I've even seen a couple of Ascendant players have this issue, but it's mainly below diamond, uh, you're going to be wanting to focus on these two drills, which will basically force you into realizing how much time you have to take your gunfights and how much time you actually have uh, to do target confirmation. So the deathmatch drill is for taking your time in your gunfights and noticing how much time you have to actually line up your shot. And the deathmatch drill is to drill into your head car that like target confirmation, target confirmation English target confirmation so that once you actually do line up your shot you'll be able to confirm yep that crosshair right there's on their head and then you just click and then you win the game twitter clip 15 million views you become bigger than pewdiepie so uh with all that being said i'd like to thank you all so much for watching this video if you enjoy content like this or you want to watch my vod review content and you want to see more just like this please leave a like and subscribe my goal is 1000 subscribers by the end of the year and i know with the weight that we've been growing we can get there very easily but with all that being said i'd like to thank you all so much for watching and uh, make sure to drink some water today. Good luck on the climb, gamers. Arrivederci. Careful. Here.